Hey YouTube, just going to give you a quick update on my load development. This was my 6mm arc with a Bartlein barrel, custom chambered uh, by Pre was it Georgia Precision, I believe was the company that I got it from. Bartlein barrel, 22 inch with a 1 and 7 half inch twist and fluted, heavy profile, I think it's the .93. Uh, overall diameter, I got a Griffin armament uh, break on there. Vortex Razor Gen 2, 4.5 by 27, and have a Trigger Tech Diamond gas gun trigger. And what else here? Oh, these magazines are great. Uh, these are the ASC 6mm uh, arc specific mags, has a 10 rounder and a 15 rounder so far they've been perfect. I'm using the Berger 105 hybrid and small rifle primer the BR4. Oh by the way I love this brass catcher. And let's see here. So today I went to an indoor range 100 yards. This was my best group. It was about a half inch. And that was at 29.5 grains of Libra Revolution. And case overall length was 2.27. And they fit in the mags fine, no feeding issues. And I had a good SD of nine. And then I tried at 29.5 grains uh, with a little seat in the bullet a little bit deeper. And at 2.26. And was it bad? Um, About 0.7 and this one was a 29.5 at 2.26 again uh, trying to back that one up that was about 0.8 so so far it's going in the right direction um, I think my next try would be uh, I might try the 110 grain a tips see how it goes uh, so far, the velocity has been pretty good. 2,700 feet per second on average there. Same thing with this one, uh, 2,699. This one was 2,696. So, uh, not too bad. I think that I uh, might, well, this is not bad. I, I, I might just roll with this. I'm trying to get ready for the uh, Gap, the Pro-Am in Tennessee for a uh, in October we just signed up today so I got a, a partner that uh, he's he's a pro I guess and he's gonna be running me through I've been to one match already and it did fairly well I was using his custom gun though an open gun I'm gonna be using the this gun for the gas gas gun category so I think on the program I went to in Texas last year I placed sixth out of 36 amateurs so that was my first match ever so we're really happy with that and all the uh, benefit or probably the only reason I did was because of good coaching you know right next to me I definitely wouldn't have done that good by myself so here we go again I'm gonna try it in October so that's what I'm trying to get this uh, load development working and I'm gonna try to stress test it see if I can repeat this for the next uh, two or three outings <clears throat> And then take it out the distance and see how it goes. Uh, I guess the next update would be I'm going to try the 110 uh, A tips and see how they do. And I might actually, I'm happy with this velocity. I don't want to push it because I know I went to my cabin this past weekend and I ran the same load here. Both of these are 2.26 overall and 2.27. And it was 91 degrees out there, and pretty humid. It's in uh, my cabin's in Oklahoma, southeast Oklahoma, and the velocities were pretty high. I know this is supposed to have or not be very good for or temp stable. So I did notice some of my well, the average this weekend I was getting around 2,700, uh, 2,725 feet per second. So an increase of about 25 feet per second or so on some of them. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll probably just keep this load 
29.5 grains max, which is also the published uh, max for gas guns. So I'll probably stick with that. That way when I'm uh, shooting in hot temps, uh, hopefully not press it, uh, pressing my luck. And the brass looked good today. I didn't see any issues. And I'm loading on a progressive press also. So I might uh, get a single stage press and see if I can tighten these groups up a little bit too. Uh, my partner, he has one he's just going to give me that I guess he started with. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll get you another update ASAP. Thanks. Bye.